Now, when you're playing courses in links, you'll notice a lot of the time objects that are in the courses that you haven't actually got in your APCD. Now, these are custom objects that people have made. And the TGAs can be extracted from uh, these courses. And you can add them to your own APCD object library. Uh, obviously, you should ask permission to use these objects from the designer if you know them. But to be honest, most of them have been used by countless designers. And you'll see them in so many courses, these grasses and trees, etc., that you really won't have an idea who the original designer was. So uh, if that's the case, I wouldn't worry too much. Now, to extract these TGAs, we need to do the following. First thing, go into your APCD uh, main folder. Uh, and it's important to be running APCD and any other programs, your paint programs, that you're going to edit things with as an administrator. I've discussed this probably in the very first video, but it's really important. Select right click, select properties, compatibility, and make sure run this program as an administrator is ticked. This will ensure that any files are written to the correct folders and they won't get sent to the virtual store if you've got Vista or Windows 7. So and the same goes with your Photoshop or GIMP or whatever you're using to edit files later on. You need to do the same thing, make sure run this program as an administrator is ticked. As it happens, uh, my APCD is in a separate folder. I'm in, I've got it on my desktop in a folder called design, so I wouldn't actually need to do that in this case. But if you've got it installed in the default, which is in program files, you really do need to run as an administrator to get things working properly. OK, so the first thing we need to do is find the object.lib, which has got all our objects in. Right click on it and rename. And I'll call this something else, backup or whatever. I usually call it ORIG for original underscore. So I've now backed up the object library. So when we run APCD, it won't find an object library. It'll create a new one with nothing in it, which is what we want. So we now run our APCD. And if we go to planting, we've got nothing in the object library. If we click the object library objects, there's absolutely nothing here at all. So all we need to do now is click on file and import from course. And if we now look through our course files, I've got them all in on my D drive. I'm just going to select one of my own courses. So Darwin point course, open. And when we do this, it will tell us how many objects there are in that course. Because we've got nothing in our object library, it will find all the new ones it can, which is everything. And there's 86 2D objects on Darwin point. So we click OK. And it will go to the first object. Now, the first thing to do, create a new type and call it imported. OK. And now that's the default folder. I can now just click OK if I want this particular TGA. If I don't, just skip across it. So I can skip through the different objects. And any I want, I can click OK. That was a big delay there. That's, that was a bit worrying. OK, so it's gone to the next one. Uh, let's skip that one. And let's say we want that one. OK. 
it's because my hard drive had gone to sleep that's what the delay was okay 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 that'll do so I cancel the rest now everyone I've clicked on OK has gone into this imported objects types if I double click on it I'll see an actual image so now once we've got all the objects we want we come out of our APCD and if we go into our object library we'll see a new folder will have been created called imported which is down here and all those BTXs that the object library needs uh, to function have been created in there what also will be created if we go down to our TGA's folder and open that we will find they've also created imported dot TGAs so we've got the graphic we need as a TGA which we can now put into our paint programs and we can change it recolor it etc so these are the files we actually want because we're going to need to import these back into APCD into our own object library so that we can use them and add them to our planting set so we've got the TGAs all we need to do now is go back out of the object library and delete the new object library that's been created because it's no good to us at all so we get rid of that and our original one we just need to rename it back to what it was which is object library so just delete the bit you've added and now when you run APCD you'll find you've got your objects back and all the categories that were there before you won't see the imported one uh, yet because we haven't actually added them to our object library or our planting set so you won't see any sign of the TGAs that we've extracted but uh, we'll discuss how to add them in the next video we're just extracting them for now so if you look in the objects as well that object type folder that we've created won't be here because that was in a different object library that we've now deleted so there's no imported uh, types in our library but that's not a problem we'll show how to add those in the next video